for a period of 90 days beginning today. In politics tonight, two factions within the ruling Jubilee party are locked in a vicious tussle over the upcoming Kibra by election. While one team, led by the Secretary General Rafael Tuju, was against forwarding a list of aspirants to the IEBC and allow party primaries, the other, led by the party's National Elections Board, forwarded a list of five aspirants, including renowned Kenyan football, footballer McDonald Moriga Wanyama, ready for primaries Sunday. The IBC has now written to the party to clarify on their position after the faction led by Tuju sent a statement terming the list of aspirants as fake news. KTN senior political reporter Chris Tairo has more details for us. The by-elections slated for November the 7th has now come out to expose more the simmering tension and differences that continue to haunt the ruling Jubilee party since the handshake. While one team led by the Secretary General, Rafael Tuji, is opposed to the party conducting party primaries and instead do direct nomination, another faction led by the National Elections Board met the IEBC deadline yesterday and forwarded the names of five aspirants to participate in the party primaries on Sunday. The IEBC has now written to the party to verify the authenticity of the letter, given that the party official Twitter handle had already dismissed the letter, terming it as fake news. Among those listed as interested aspirants in the Kibra by election on a Jubilee ticket is renowned Kenyan footballer MacDonald Mariga. According to sources within the party, Mariga has already applied to participate in the party primaries and even paid an application fee of 250,000 shillings. Could Deputy President William Ruto be secretly sponsoring MacDonald Mariga in the by election? Last month, the two held talks at the deputy president's official residence in Karen, where it was reported that their talks centered on identifying and grooming football talent in the country. Jubilee Party is yet to make an official statement on the differences that continue to haunt them. Meanwhile, aspirants seeking the ODM party ticket continued with their campaigns ahead of the party primaries on Saturday. Baba, na kuomba, na na kusii. Among the 20 aspirants seeking the ODM ticket is reggae DJ Chris Darlin, who continued to be the talk of town after he knelt before ODM party leader Raila Odinga in a public rally at Kamukunji grounds in Kibra on Sunday. Monday next week will be the deadline for political parties to forward the names of their candidates before the official campaign period kicks off. Chris Dairo, KTN News.